Anyway, let's welcome them on in. The basics. Come on in, guys. So here's our team for the night. They just finished the basics class, going from the far end down to here. At the end there, we have Viola. Next to her, Nicole, who we also call Cynthia. <laughs> Next to her, Sabrina, who rarely is called Patricia. <laughs> then Cynthia, <laughs> Kelly, and Ashley. <laughs> so we've got lots of games and things for you tonight. The first one we're going to do is called Directed Story. Now in this one, these guys are going to tell us a story, one person at a time. I'll point to the first person, they'll start off telling us the beginning of the story. And then at some point I'll switch to another person, they'll continue where the first person left off. But we need to give them some kind of grist for the middle here. So, um, <laughs> what is an exotic animal? Flamingo. Flamingo? <laughs> Flamingo, okay. And what is an imaginary place that we all know about? Not Not land. <laughs> Disneyland. Okay. So we'll call this story the Flamingos of Disneyland. All right, you ready? Yes. Okay, I'm going to crouch down here so I don't get in your way. Awesome. <laughs> the Flamingos of Disneyland. Now, if you've ever been to that exotic place, you will know that if you go around, you know, over the bridge, through the river, you know, you can find the green flamingos of Disneyland. <laughs> green flamingos. They're there for St. Patrick's Day. They have better balance than I do. <laughs> they take yoga and I should go. <laughs> and if you don't look them in the eye. They won't hurt you. <laughs> but, that, unfortunately for my cousin Billy, he didn't hear that last part. So, he followed them out, he went over the bridge, he found these green flamingos, and then he got bitten. Thankfully, he was there with his mother, Selena, and their little puppy, Lincoln, and Lincoln was able to come to the rescue. So Lincoln went in there and he jumped on that evil green flamingo and he bit his neck off. So his head goes falling down, the baby's screaming, the mother is grabbing the baby, and they run off to security to tell them what happened. <laughs> and security said, not again. Um, another lawsuit. Um, they, they were prepared though this time. They had the lawyers and they knew that these green flamingos were evil, but they were very nice. They attracted a lot of tourists. So they went to Billy and told them, Billy, if you tell your mom that the flamingo doesn't really scare you, you actually made up, um, you will get a bar of candy. <laughs> Actually, the head was just a little bit ripped off. So as any good soap opera, it was starting to be attached. So Billy was getting a little more comfortable with the fact that maybe it wasn't a full on slaughter of that evil green flamingo. So, you know, actually this was a really big learning experience with this chocolate bar that he made peace with. Um, with this with this flamingo the head was kind of being attached kind of like in hocus pocus you know and then all of a sudden he started to, to feel this itch and um, he was itching so much he realized he was starting to grow feathers <laughs> guess what Billy turned into a pink penguin <laughs> who are actually the best friends of green flamingos. So now he could live the rest of his days with his new friend, the green flamingo. And see. Yeah. <laughs>